foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh and by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, we call Kadash. Double honor to the elders, apostles, and great millstone. Salutation to the hopefully elect scattered across the four ends of the earth. Of the earth, so like it. I just want to get a couple of scriptures about the Lord will cover you in these times. And the only way you're going to get delivered is through Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And this first go around, only the elect in the one third, the hundred and forty four thousand in one third, two, th two thirds of the black Latinos in Latin America gonna die in their sins, die in destruction, they gonna die in, in what's set to come, they gonna die in Jacob's trouble, whether right? it be famine of food, um, the, the chip, um, race wars, um, disasters that's going on, like the wildfires, or the wildfires, it's like the hurricanes, etc. First scripture I want to get it when they talk about Jacob Jacob's trouble in the book of Jeremiah. So I'll start off with this is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 5. For thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, see whether a man do travail with child? Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a man, as a like as a woman, like the grass. Jeremiah chapter 30 started at verse 5. But thus said the Lord. that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved of it. The elect will be saved of it. 145,000 and the one third. And the elites, because they're going to, these high top elites, because they're going to be the first slaves in the kingdom. And it, it says, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. It's going to be something like we've never been through, like the purge times 10, times 100, times 1,000, all these crazy, crazy movies that we see where a lot of destruction and disaster happening, that's going to be the time of Jacob's trouble. It's going to be like there's nothing we've seen before. We've been through buying this with him, got our babies cut up, been handed to first, um, the, well, the first gator baby was so-called Black Latinos and Native American babies, so that these heathens, these wicked ass, even mice can catch babies, can catch, well, slacker, can catch uh, alligators. They used to cut the woman, hang the woman upside down, cut his stomach open, let the baby drop. They will, will castrate the man, cut his, cut his rod out, man. You will get hung for taking a rock and skipping it across the water, like so forth and so on, man. Right? All that they we've been through, there's still not gonna be the time of Jacob trouble. Like, I saw the hour of temptation, the, the mark of the beast, the RFID chip. And if you take that chip, your ass is grass. There's no coming back. You will not be delivered in the time you have by Shimmy I was shot. Come bring vengeance upon these heathens, upon these two thirds. And that's why I get some scriptures about the Lord will cover you. Because he 
you're the only one that's gonna get you through, to see you through, so you, that you can reach salvation. You're the only one that's gonna get you to that victory. The first scripture I wanna get is in the Apocrypha. In 2 Maccabees 15, chapter eight. I actually like this scripture right here. This is the second Maccabees chapter 15, verse 8. Wherefore he exhorted his people not to fear the coming of the heathen against them, but to remember the help which in the former times they had received from heaven, and not to expect the victory and aid which shall come unto them from the Almighty. It said not to expect the victory and the aid. And if you go into that word salvation, one of the definitions is, is victory. That's how you receive victory. Through your high by Shemi Shai. That's how you will be covered through your high by Shemi Shai. If you turn back to the Most High and it's only begotten Son. If you're not, you will be destroyed. It's basically right now is either a pre or die. That's the only options you got. And eventually it's going to be too late. Because prophecies are helping, I mean, happening left and right every day. It says in the uh, it says in the scriptures that the Lord bring forth judgment early in the morning. So you might not know what tomorrow is gonna be in the next week or next month. Every day is something different and it's happening. And I also say, but but to remember the help which in the former time they had received from heaven, and not to expect victory and aid, like in the time to um, Joshua, when the Lord helped them fight against all those evils. The next scripture I'm going to get is also in the Apocrypha. Second address. 16. Just touch on a lot of scriptures about the Lord will cover us, will cover you, the elect. Yeah, that's right. Second, this is the book of um, Second Edges, chapter 16, and I'm going to start on verse 70. The more plain to sight that the only the Lord will cover you, the only one that will deliver you from that trouble. I'm going to start at verse 70, chapter 16, the Second Edges. For there shall be in every place, in the next cities, a great insurrection. Yeah, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, those that fear Yahweh by Shema Shai. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. The time of trouble, the time of martial law, the time of Jacob's trouble. In verse 73 it goes on, Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Because our temptation is going to gonna prove a lot. Are you really hired by Shimei Abishai? Are you, are you with so-called America, which actually in the end of the day is the um, daughter of Babylon, this wicked city, this wicked kingdom? I'm going on saying, Here, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. But I will deliver you, you, but it's like the Bible deliver you from the same. It says the days of trouble are at hand. The time of Jacob trouble is here, it's on a low level, but soon things will pick up. These the, the scriptures say that Satan, these devils know that they have a, they have a short time, short time to put their new world order into effect before you hide by Shimmy out shot get here. That's that's what they're ready to go to war against. That's what they want to go against. They want to feel like belly up. But the scriptures say right before they feel like, feel like belly, that's when the most high y'all by Shimmy Al Shah is going to take them down. And I saw the angels. Well, Noah says, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high is your God. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high is your God. All right, through the scriptures, they tell you that the Lord will cover you in a time of trouble against these heathens, against your own people, against the whole world. Because the whole world is really against you Israelites, against you so-called black, Latinos, and Native Americans. 
They wake up every day just to see how they're going to keep them distracted or put them down. Or going on, the cetera, man, every day, they, it wasn't, they do not want to want the children of Israel to wake up. The so-called black Latinos and Native American. They want to keep them in sleep. A lot of y'all are going to stay in sleep. Y'all ain't going to never wake up until it's too late. Scripture say you should die in your sins. If you, just, if you continue to sin, then you get no grace. Thus said the scriptures. Going on to this last verse, I'm going to read it. It said, The God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord, Yehovah Shunah Shah, let not your sins but you down, let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Another scripture on the Lord recovery. Um, in the Bible again. In the book of Sawat, chapter 51. A lot of these scriptures I got wrote down, so I won't forget them. This is the chapter, um, Book of Sarat, chapter 51, verse 12, in the part. But those saveth me from destruction, and delivereth me from the evil time. Therefore I will give thanks and praise thee, and bless thy name. O Lord, you how about you, Yahweh Shai? But those saveth me from destruction, and delivered me from the evil time. The evil time is, is now. The evil time is here. Every day, if not every week, something bad is happening in, in uh, all across the world, but a lot of it is happening in America. They had a Trump rally. I think it was close to Austin, maybe in Lake, Tra Lake Travis, where they was all out there on, on their boats. It did like maybe 30 boats, could be 20. They was all out there having a Trump, a Trump rally. You know what I'm saying about this and that and the other. Like, I don't know one of their boats caught on fire, but all the boats start sinking. I know one of the boats caught on fire, but most of the boats just start sinking. I guess I look at like, I look at that as a sign, a sign that this kingdom is going down. They all thought they're trying to have a good time, support Trump, and this thing you know, most of their boats just start sinking. One caught on fire, where they had to jump. I can I don't know say that jump off. They or they had to jump off and get into another boat, but the. You can tell maybe some gas or something maybe caught like like threw them to fire because the whole it was almost like a baby yacht like the whole the whole little the whole boat was scorching with fire and it was on actually on the water but it was the flames was, you can tell like man you don't want to be close to that if anybody that was in there they ain't, I guarantee you they ain't making it and that's a sign that this this kingdom is going down this is not your risk at all. The next scripture I'm going to get is um, in the book of Psalms. All these scriptures I wrote down are pretty much, this is, this is some good scriptures right here. Try to get some like faith groups of scriptures, the Lord will, co will cover you. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 32, starting at verse 7. Thou art my hiding place, thou shalt preserve me from the trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. It's a lot. It says, Thou art my hiding place. If you want to escape destruction, be hid from destruction, you need to repent, break up to who you are, and come back to your how about Shimmy Shah. It's the only way you're gonna be able to be hidden in these times that's coming. It's the only way, it's the only option. Either this way or no way. He said, Thou shalt preserve me from the trouble. He's gonna preserve you from the trouble, the time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation. He's gonna get you through. You might not know how you're gonna eat, how you're gonna provide for your, your family, like during, uh, during the time all hell breaking loose. Clothes, like, like you ain't know, you might have to run to the wilderness. Not saying like, it's not saying like, like you, you never know. And they got people out here trying to build up a nation, like build up their own, build up a kingdom in this wicked ass kingdom. And it's, and it's gonna come tonight. Like you can't anything you try to like, you try to build something like a Black Wall Street or anything. Even if you go beyond Black Wall Street, it don't even matter. Like it's gonna come to end. It's gonna come tonight. 
It will not prosper in this kingdom. And the Lord will take it down. I am saved. I know we get another scripture in Psalms. Another, the Lord will cover you scripture. A faith booster. And, um, uh, the main point is, is verse 7, but this whole, this whole psalm right here in, in Psalm 34. Let me just start with one. Start with verse 1. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear the word and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The Lord gonna hear your cry, but you gotta believe, you gotta believe that your how by Shimeon and Shai is gonna deliver you. It takes faith. That's the only thing we got like at, uh, right now is to keep faith in your how by Shimeon and Shai. Until the time come, until the end. Endure to the end, Lord willing. In verse seven, the angel of the Lord encamped, encamped round about them that fear them and deliver them. The angel of the Lord is always watching. He's gonna get you through, he's gonna protect you, he's gonna protect you if you're of the elect or the one third. Lord willing. Lord willing, I'm a part of the number. I've got to say before that I brought these scriptures out, Lord willing, it's edifying. Next question I'm gonna get is uh, Zephaniah. Chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I might assemble, assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. The scriptures say, therefore. Wait ye upon me, says the Lord, until the day that I will rise up to the prey. Wait on your how about shimmy out shot. You can't you can't do it out of no matter how many guns you got, you can get the tanks, you can start your own army, your, your own group. Like they will not defeat these Edomites, these these elites, these wicked ass nations. You can't feed them out with how about shimmy out shot. The Lord is the only fight that we got. And I, I'm gonna get an account in the book of Joshua. Well, the Lord, we going to fight with us. That's who going to fight. That's how, how about you? How is your big brother going to come? Like when, back in the day or uh, to, to this day, you got people, they going to call somebody. They going to get somebody else to come. It's, it's, we call him how about Shima Al Shai. That's, who gonna, that's, gonna, that's how big brother going to come. Also with the angels. Your how about Shima Al Shai going to come. He going to the one that's going to pour out. His, they say he going to pour out his inclination against these heathens. He the one that's gonna bring the sword, the real sword, that can slaughter millions, millions of people. We can't even get enough bullets to slaughter millions of people. Maybe not even a hundred thousand. For swords, bombs, whatever. I get that kind of book of, in the book of Joshua. I just actually read it, uh, read this question not too long ago. One of the brothers in GMS had brought it out. Chapter 11, wait, chapter 10, we're going to start at chapter 10, verse 40. So Joshua smote all the countries of the hills and of the south and of the vale and of the springs and all their kings and he left none remaining, none remaining but utterly destroyed all their breathing. 
as the Lord thy power of Israel commanded. And Joshua smote them from Kadesh Barnea, even unto Gaza, and all the country of Agoshet, even unto Gibeon. And all the kings and their land did Joshua take one at a time. Here's the point. Because the Lord thy power, Yahweh Shem Yahweh of Israel, fought for Israel, Yahweh Allah. It says that because the Lord Yahweh fought for Israel, he fought for us. He told Joshua, don't worry. It actually talks about, talks about, it said, don't worry, Joshua, in the morning, tomorrow, I will smoke all of them. Like, basically, I'm going to kill all of them. i make sure it's known that, you know what I'm saying, that I'm in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and I'm going to fight with you. Don't worry. The Prince John said, Joshua returned and all Israel with him until the camp of Galau. That is Galau. That's an account. That's an account right there. That's a, a faith booster right there that the Lord is going to fight for you. Like the Lord is going to, that's going to be your protection, your fighter, your hiding place, etc. What's going on? That's. How about Shemal Shah is everything. Real talk. Another scripture I want to get is in the book of Job. Chapter 5. I'll just get two scriptures in Job chapter 5. Scriptures I really like right here. Some called scriptures. I'm going to start with the book of Job chapter 5 verse 19. And he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in the seven there shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from the death. And in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt love. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. It says that destruction and famine thou shalt love. The elect of Israel is going to be laughing when those times come. All these people bugged out and running crazy, don't know what's going on. And they're going to be looking for the pipers, they're going to be looking to, for the ones that are telling them to get right. Come back to your how by sharing our shot. Telling them what's going to happen. They were speaking the prophecy to the people and they ain't want to reckon on. During that time, they're gonna be, they ain't going to know what to do. They're going to be running rapid here and there, going to and fro. And it says that they let. You how about uh, you how about see me outside? The uh, ain't no one third is gonna be laughing. You get it? It said, "Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and so like at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh." That's why it says, "At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh." You're gonna be laughing. At the end of the day, because you know it's when it get real hectic in the time of Jacob's trouble is on a high level, you know that the kingdom is, is really right at hand. You don't really got too much longer. You maybe you know, that time you maybe have maybe less than a week, maybe less maybe the next day, less than a month until the kingdom of heaven. And that's what we all wait. A video cut off. That's what we wait though. That's what we're waiting for you how about Shimmy on to come back. So we can be in the kingdom. You probably want to live in this wicked ass place, man. In the same chapter of Job, chapter 5, I should have read verse 6 through the 10 first, but I read verse 19 through 22. In the day it's going to get brought out through the Spirit. How about Shemel Chapter 5, verse 6. Although affliction coming not forth of the dust, neither doth trouble spring out from the ground. Yet man is born unto trouble as a sparse fly upward. I will seek unto the most high, and unto the most high would I commit my cause, which doeth great things and searchable marvelous things without number, who giveth rain upon the earth and sendeth waters upon the field, to set up on the on the high those that be low, that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. Those that, and the point really in verse 11, to set upon high those that be low, that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. Our hiding place, our safety. It says those that are mourn may be exalted to safety. Deliverance, victory. 
Next scripture I want to get is um. Well, these are our precepts. Bringing out a precept in Matthew chapter six. Start at 25. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 25. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. What ye shall drink, what like it, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink. Nor yet for the body, what ye shall put on, is not the life of more than the meat, and the body more than the remnant. Behold, the fowls of the earth, for they so not neither do they reap nor gather into barn yet your heavenly father feeded them are you not much better than they are you not much better than the birds in the air and the lord feeded them so how much you think he gonna feed you you want to say which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto this this stature and why take ye thought for one consider the lilies of the field how they grow they told not, neither do they speak. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Even King Solomon, he believed it. He, he, like his faith wasn't down there. He believed that the Lord would cover him through anything. Wherefore, if the Most High so clothed the grass of the field, which today it is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven. So he not much more clothe you, O ye a little faith. Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things to the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father know that ye need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought of things of, its, of itself. Suffocate until the day is the evil thereof. It say, therefore take no thought, saying what, what we shall eat, what we eat. Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? The Lord gonna cover you as no times. You know the time of Jacob trouble. A famine on food. A uh, famine of the word. Like going on like martial law, the RFID chip, do all those things that how by shimmy our shower will cover you. All you have to do is believe and believe that he is. Believe he is a savior. A precept to that is a, Yeah, a precept to that is in, um, in Isaiah chapter 65. Look at Isaiah chapter 65, I'm taught at verse 13. Therefore thus say the Lord, Yahweh, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing. Like Behold, my servants shall sing of the joy of heart, but ye shall cry of sorrow of the heart and shall hold for vestation of the spirit. It says the servants won't be thirsty, won't be hungry. That's just saying he got you, I'm gonna cover you. Don't worry about nothing. Keep faith, keep the laws, keep the laws, statutes, and commandments to your best ability. Preach the word in season and out of season. Pray always. Lord willing, you one of those numbers, you don't, you don't have no worries at all. These heathens, first and foremost, they say he's going to start our house, so we we'll start with these two-thirds, and the rest of these nations that are not of the Israelites, 
they're going to be worried. These high elites, they worried right now. They, Because they know that the Lord is getting ready to come back. They know that the Lord is getting ready to come back. They know that the Hebrew Israelites are waking up all across the four corners of the earth. In the last days, and the scriptures say in the last days, we shall wake up. We are the valley of the, the um, dead jaw bones coming back to life. Another precept to the Lord will cover you. And, um, in the Apocrypha, chapter 2, verse 11, was well, like it. In the Apocrypha, the book of Sarat, or, or, or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2, verse 11. Okay, and said, going on, Sarat chapter 2, verse 11. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiveth of sins, and save it in the time of affliction. The Lord is going to save you. Let's believe in Him. Believe that He is. He's the Savior, salvation, victory. A reward, win. You won't have victory until you have by Shema and Shah come back. So everybody should be wanting the Lord to come back. They should want the Heavenly Father to bring His Son to cause havoc upon the earth. Because without that, continuing the inside kingdom, man, this thing is going to be worse. Like, Lord will it win the kingdom next year? 2021, I hope it's even worse than this year. Lord willing. Somebody wanna live in this place. This place is this this shit is crazy. Going on, it talks about having woe, like woe to you that don't have no faith. That loves faith. In verse 12, in the book of Sirach, chapter 2, reading on in verse 12, Woe be to select the woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands, and the sinner that goeth to ways. Woe to him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore he therefore shall he not be defended. If you believe not, the Lord won't defend you. It tells you plain as plain as day right there. Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? What will you do when the Lord is going to visit you? You ain't want to work it on. You ain't want to get right. You ain't want to repent. Like, people ain't even trying to. That's the thing. They ain't even trying to. They don't care about the Lord coming back. They can care if the Lord come back right now. They wouldn't. They don't care. They do not want. They do not care. They all. A precept is almost burning out. Sage burning. Another precept is in the book of Isaiah, chapter 12. Chapter, this is a short chapter in the book of Isaiah, chapter 12, starting at verse 1. And in the day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee. Though thou wast angry with me, thy anger is turned away. Thou comfort comfortest me. Behold, the most high Yahweh is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Yahweh is my strength and my song. He also become my salvation, my victory, my defense, my hiding place. Therefore, with joy shall you draw water. Like Therefore, with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in the day you shall say, Praise thee, the Lord Yahweh. Call upon His name. Declare His doings among the people. Make mission that His name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for He hath done excellent things. 
This is known in all of the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. That's a, that's a good chapter right there. It said, Behold, the Most High Yahweh is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Yahweh is my strength and my song. He has also become my salvation. The covering place. What's going to get you through? What's going to keep you going? Lord willing, through your how about shimmy I was shot. And uh this is, this is a good faith booster right here in the book of Maccabees. First Maccabees chapter two. And I'm gonna start at verse 51. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall you receive great honor and an everlasting name. Was not Abraham found faithful in temptation? And it, it was imputed unto him for righteousness. Joseph in the time of his distress kept the commandment and was made Lord of Egypt. For needs our father in being zealous and, and what, fervent of, of Salafi, and fervent obtained the covenant of an er everlasting priesthood. Yahweh Shah for revealing the word was made a judge in Israel. Caleb for bearing witness before the congregation received the heritage of the land. David for being merciful possessed the throne of an under er Salafi, possessed the throne of an everlasting kingdom. Elias, Elijah for being zealous and fervent for the law was taken up into heaven. Ananias, Azarias, and myself, by believing, were saved out of the flame. Daniel, for his instancy, was delivered from the mouth of lions. And thus consider ye throughout all ages that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. Anybody that put their trust in your how about shit now was shot and believe pro cold hearted, it says it should not be overcome. Going on in verse 62, fear not then the words of a, sin a sinful man, for his glory shall be dung and worms. Today he shall be lifted up, and tomorrow he shall not be found, because he is returned into the dust, and his thought is coming to nothing. Wherefore ye, my sons, be valiant. And show yourself men in behalf of the law, for by it shall ye obtain glory. It's a good faith root of scripture if you read, uh, read it. Look at uh, the Maccabees. I rest like reading the, the first chapter, or yeah, the first chapter and the second chapter of the first Maccabees. Those some really good chapters. And with that, we're going to finish off. The Lord will cover you. All you have to do is believe. With that being said, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem with Kar Kadash. Double honor to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopefully elect that scattered across the four winds of the earth. Shalom.